Hi there. Welcome to the presentation on modulation in melody writing. The goal of this exercise is to be able to change the key in a melody from the tonic key to the dominant key. This is the circle of fifths. The circle of fifths shows the relationship between each key uh, in a tonic and dominant relationship. One step clockwise on the circle of fifths brings you to the dominant key. So for example if you're in the key of B flat you can modulate to the key of F. If you're in the key of C you can modulate to the key of G. If you're in the key of D you can modulate to the key of A and so on. It's a good idea to learn off the position of each key on the clock of the circle of fifths. What do we need to do? First of all we need to identify the note that changes. In the tonic key, the note Fa is raised by a semitone to become the new note T in the dominant key. So, for example, in the key of C, the note Fa is C, D, E, F. It'll become F sharp, which will be the new T in the key of G. What else do we need to do? We need to identify the common chords between the tonic key and the dominant key. These are always chords 1, 3, 5 and 6 in the tonic key. In the key of C, for example, chord 1 is C major, chord 3 is E minor, chord 5 is G major and chord 6 is A minor. These chords are also in the key of G, just to have different numbers. G major is chord 1, A minor is chord 2, C major is chord 4 and E minor is chord 6. At the end of the phrase, the melody must go T to Do in the dominant key. Also at the end of the phrase, there must be a perfect cadence in the harmony in the dominant key. There can be other notes between T and Do as long as the T occurs during chord 5 and the Do occurs on chord 1 of the perfect cadence. Example, the key of C modulating to the key of G. The new T goes to the new Do, so F sharp is the new T going to G. Underneath it we'll have a perfect cadence 5, 1 in the key of G. These chords will be D major to G major. The new T F sharp appears during chord 5, which is the chord of D, and the Do, G, comes on chord 1, which is the chord of G. There may be other notes between the F sharp and the G, as shown here. We have the chord of D with F sharp, then G and A as a passing note and an extra harmony note, followed by the chord of G with G in the melody. Before this cadence in the dominant key, we must have a pivot area in the middle of the phrase. A pivot area contains only notes and chords that are common to both keys. Between the key of C and the key of G, all of the notes are common except the F which changes to F sharp. Between the key of C and the key of G there are four common chords as listed earlier C major, E minor, G major and A minor. Now here we have a worked out example of a modulation from the key of C to the key of G. We start in the key of C with the chord of C underneath. Here we have the chord of E minor, which is chord 3, going to the chord of A minor, which is chord 6. This is very definitely in the key of C because we have an F natural in bar 1. At the end of the phrase, we are in the key of G. This is because we have a chord of D major followed by a chord of G which both belong in the key of G and we have an F sharp here in the melody which firmly fixes the melody into the key of G. In the middle here we have a pivot area. The pivot area contains common notes in the melody. If we look at the tonic sulfur from the beginning it will go as far as the end of this box. 
hi do ti la so mi fa so la ti hi do ti la so when we get to f sharp that does not belong in the key of c if we work back from the end of the phrase where we are in the key of g the tonic solfa for the key of g will work back as far as the beginning of this box do re do lo ti do re mi fa mi re do the f natural doesn't belong in the tonic solfa of the key of g so all of these notes in the melody in the box are common to both keys the harmony in the box is also common to both keys. The chord of E minor we already said is chord 3 in the key of C and the chord of A minor is chord 6 in the key of C so the chord progression is 1 to 3 to 6. If we look back from the end of the, of the phrase this is chord 1 in the key of G this would be chord 5 this would be chord 2 and this would be chord 6. So the, caden the harmonic progression would be 6 to 2 to 5 to 1. A very good harmonic progression. So our modulation works extremely well, starting in the key of C, moving into the pivot area for a bar and a half, and coming out and finishing in the key of G with a perfect cadence in the harmony, and T going to Do in the melody. So, in summary, identify the note that changes, identify the common chords. At the end of the phrase, the melody must go T to Do in the new key, and at the end of the phrase, there must be a perfect cadence in the new key. There needs to be a pivot area in the middle of the phrase. Good luck.